Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Localize. Today we are going to talk about team users and contributors. First of all, it is important to remember that in Localize you can create one or multiple teams that can be seen in this list over here. Currently I am browsing my own team and please be aware that every team is well fully independent. So every team has a list of projects, settings, users and also every team has its own subscription plan and we have two types of users on localize the first type is the team users and the second type is project contributors first of all let's cover team users therefore i'm going to open team settings and this is the list of all the users that you have within the current team and every user might participate in one or multiple projects and of course it might happen that some user does not participate in any projects at all but still this user occupies a so-called team seat so whenever you add a new user to your team this user will occupy a team seat and you can view the number of seats available to you under the billing tab. If you go over the limit, then you will see a notification. Now, every user has also certain access rights. The most restrictive access right is called member. So members cannot modify any team settings. They cannot add any new team members. They cannot manage subscription, etc. Then we have admins and admins can create new projects within the team. They can create professional translation orders and they can manage team members then we have biller that can also control the billing details and the subscription information and finally team owners have full access rights to the current team of course you can press on this trash bin icon to remove a member this way this person will lose all access to all the projects within the team and this person will not open occupy the team seat anymore. Then you can also press add team member, provide one or multiple emails and then choose a project to add this person to. Also you can customize permissions within the chosen project for this user. But let's put it aside and talk about contributors first. Let's open this project and then we can switch to the contributors tab and under this tab you are going to see the list of all the users that currently have access to this exact project indeed they are still team users so they still occupy a team seat but within this current project they have the following permissions as listed here so let's discuss what are those permissions first of all you have the editable languages the languages that the contributor can modify and by modifying i mean proceeding to the editor clicking on uh, some value and providing a translation so in this case for example we can see that this guy can modify only the french locale but of course you can pick one or multiple languages from this list then we have the readable languages well the languages that this person can read and use as a reference you can pick all languages or you can pick specific languages if for some reason maybe you don't want this person to view italian or japanese translations and then also we have the role once again this is the role within the current project only so this isn't a role within the team and currently this person is a translator but of course you can click the more menu and click edit permissions and currently we have a few predefined roles that you can choose from and the most restrictive role is called the translator so they can only view glossaries and they can modify the languages that have been specifically marked as editable then we have the reviewer the reviewer is basically a translator that can also change the review status for your translations and change cost 
custom statuses if this feature is enabled within your project. So by that I mean that they can proceed to the editor and toggle this mark as reviewed status and also they can assign custom translation statuses to these values over here so this is a reviewer and then the next role is called content creator and here you can see what additional actions this person can perform this is a more advanced role because this person will be able to manage your translation keys the screenshots languages and view activity within the project and even undo the bulk actions. Next we have the developer who is even more like advanced because he can upload and download translation files and also create branches if the project branching feature is enabled within your project. And finally we have the manager that can effectively do everything within this current project. This person has full access rights. If these roles, these predefined templates are not enough for you, you can click custom and then just so you can mix and match those permissions and say that maybe this guy can do all these actions you just save permissions and now it says custom of course you can add more contributors well you can add more users that are not yet part of your current team so you provide the list of emails you pick the role to assign of course you can modify this role later by well customizing it as i've shown you previously and you pick editable and readable languages so it's really really simple and then you can add the existing users from your current team so you can pick maybe this guy he has already been added to the team but he hasn't yet been added to the project so you once again pick the role for him and you say add and finally we can also add user groups we are going to cover user groups a bit later on top of that you can import contributors from another project within this team and these contributors will be added with the same permissions that they have with within the chosen project so for instance you can pick this blog you can just tick a few users to add you say import and these users will appear in this list as well now let's also see how to deal with your user groups and for that we proceed to team settings and we switch to the user groups Tab. Well, the user groups is a powerful feature when you would like to manage multiple members at the same time. So let's hit create new group and let's say maybe sample. By default, this group has no members and it won't be added to any projects at all. But you can click add member and you can add maybe some existing members from your current team or once again you can invite new users to localize so let's say add and now we have two members and then for those members you can customize permissions using the same interface as we've seen previously so you can say that all these members will be content creators within the projects that this group will be added to also you can modify the languages Maybe you can say that, I don't know, all languages or some selected languages from this huge list. Once you're ready, you can save permissions. And now you can add this team to one or multiple projects. For instance, let's choose uh, permissions. And let's click add. Having done that, you can press on the project name and navigate to the contributors Tab. And now we're going to see that here is our new group with two contributors that have this content creator role and you can edit the group and modify their permissions. But it is important to remember if within the group there is a person who is also an individual contributor within the same team, their individual contributor permissions override any 
any group permissions that you have assigned here. In other words, this Ilya guy, he will have only the permissions that are assigned here on the individual level, regardless of what you have specified here for the group. It is done well to streamline the user's management because previously these permissions worked in a more complex way and it was well quite confusing. So now it's not the case anymore. Now all the individual permissions override group permissions. Okay. If you choose uh, to remove uh, some person from a project, you can click remove. And in this case, they will, of course, lose all access to this exact project. But it doesn't mean that this guy will be removed from the team as well. It's actually not the case. And you will still see this person in the list right here. Once again, if you would like to free up the team seat that this person occupies, then you must remove them from the team members tab by pressing on the trash bin. In this case, they will not occupy a seat anymore. And so this is it. Thank you for your attention and happy localizing.